Yo, what's going on, guys? This is what Dragster TV here, back at it again. And today, guys, we are here on my new gaming PC, the newest addition to the Dragster TV setup. And uh, I got this a few hours ago. So far today, I've just gone ahead and uh, you know set it up to how uh, I want to use it. So I have all my programs and software installed for um, my day-to-day -day use for making daily content here on the channel, guys. Uh, just went ahead and installed OBS Studio not too long ago. Went ahead and set it up to my presets and how I like it and whatnot. Alrighty, guys. So, I thought it'd be a good idea to share with you guys exactly how I did that and how you guys can do it yourself as well. Alrighty, guys. So, what you're going to go ahead and do, uh, so pretty much right now I'm going to teach you guys how to install the software and then how you guys can, uh, get to record your display like it did, like I am right now and also using my... Uh, normal microphone that I uh, always make all my videos with. Alrighty guys, step number one, you're gonna go ahead and locate yourself uh, a web browser, then open it. It could be Google Chrome, it could be Microsoft Edge, it could be anything. I'm gonna go ahead and open up uh, Google Chrome, but depends on, it's up to you guys what uh, browser you guys would like to open. Yeah, and then from now, from here, you're just gonna go ahead and type in OBS. And then it'll come up OBS Studio. You're going to go ahead and hit that, and then the link right here is obsproject.com. And you're going to go ahead and hit that. As you guys can see, it's purple for me since I just went ahead and hit that. And it's really just as simple as you get brought to this page, and for whatever software you guys, or whatever, um, whatever you guys are using, Windows, Mac OS, or Linux, uh, for me here, obviously I'm on Windows 10, so I just hit Windows and download it. And uh, pretty much it came up down here like it normally does on uh, when you're downloading something. And then you're going to wait for it to be done installing. Then you're going to hit open. And you're going to close this. And it's pretty much just going to bring up OBS Studio. Which is what I'm recording on right now. That's what it should look like. Well, actually, it shouldn't like it look like anything when you guys load it up. So the first time you load it up, it's not going to look like anything. It's just going to look like a black screen. So what you guys are going to go ahead and do is you're going to go down here to sources. And you're going to hit a little plus. And then you're going to go down here to display capture and you're going to hit that. And then pretty much you can name it whatever you want. I just pretty much named mine display one. And you're just going to name it whatever you want. And then you're just going to make one. All right. And uh, you can set up scenes and whatnot for when you're streaming. And by the way, when you open it up for the first time, uh, it'll ask you because it will set its own presets for you and go back and make your own custom settings as well. Pretty much, it'll ask you what you're going to be using OBS for. Streaming or recording. Now, obviously, I set mine for recording since I don't stream too often. But I will still stream, obviously. Uh, and you guys can start streaming and pull that up. So, I have both options here. I don't know what it would pull it up if uh, I'd selected my presets for start streaming. But for those of you that are just uh, strictly wanting to use OBS for streaming, um, you guys can do that as well. And I don't know if it would look any different or not. But here's how just the normal layout looks. Uh, next thing's up. So pretty much uh, you have your display up right here. And I'm going to turn off the display. So it's just black screen for you guys right there. And uh, yeah, so it's just by hitting this little eye right there. Uh, so now for to get your audio. Like obviously if you're using like a desktop, it's not going to have any audio. If you're using a laptop, it might have some pretty cruddy audio. Uh, I'm using my Fifine microphone right here. So to add that, and now this is all just done in sources. So pretty much just took me like five, not, I was about to say five minutes. It didn't even take five minutes. Like two minutes just set up, you know, just figure it out. Like plus, see what I need to add and whatnot. Uh, so you hit the plus since we already have our display up. Now it's just to quick and easy, get it downloaded and you want to start streaming and recording quickly. This is how you get your audio and your display. So once you have your display up, next thing is audio. Put your audio input capture. You're going to hit OK. And it's going to ask you what device. So for me, it's my microphone, USB, PNP, audio device. So you're going to hit that. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to... I don't know where the delete button is, but I could delete it uh, later for my second one that I don't want to use. And that's really just how you kind of just the basics, how you get straight into recording uh, with your screen and your audio. Alrighty guys, it's not like a full tutorial or anything like that. It's just a quick and simple and easy tutorial 
on just how you get it on your device and how you get it up and running with sources. So this only took me a few minutes, got it right on up, and now I get to make some uh, more SnowRunner videos here soon. So be on the lookout for those guys on PC. Uh, so yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you have an amazing rest, guys, day or night. For those of you that did find today's video helpful, please do make sure to uh, leave a like. It really does help me out. And consider subscribing for those of you that are interested in any of my new daily content here on the channel, guys. And as I was going on about, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you have an amazing rest, guys, day or night. And with that, I'll catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.